First and foremost, <clears throat> I want to thank you, all of you, for being patriotic. For being patriotic in that when you feel that leaders are not leading you according to your expectation, or if the leaders are not providing a service that they promise that they'll service, they'll provide the best way to do it is to show them that we are not happy. Yes. 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 It is your democratic right yes. to voice out mm -hmm. that you are not happy. Yes. Yes. But in vo voicing out these concerns, please be aware that we have a country to protect. Yes. Zambia has always been known as a beacon of peace. True. And in your efforts to show the government that you are not happy, please don't be violent. Amen. Don't be violent or don't do anything that is going to jeopardize the peace that we have enjoyed since independence. Yes. Obviously, politics is about providing a service to the people of Zambia. Or anywhere in the world, when politicians are elected, you expect that things must change. Yes. 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 But surprising now is that things are getting worse. Exactly. Yeah. And if we are not careful, <laughs> if we are not careful as Zambians, one day we'll wake up and find there's no Zambia to talk about. Yes. yes. So your show of anger against those in government is the right thing in the right direction. And for me, all I can do is that I'm going to write a, a letter to the president to tell him that I received a group of youths who came to complain about the high cost of living. Please do who that. Who came to complain yeah. about, yeah. about fertilizer, etc., etc. Yeah, so that he can also take action. Yes. We are not doing these things to try and de degrade or indeed uh, fight the government of the day. Politics is about service. Mm -hmm. Both the opposition and those in government have the responsibility to the people to correct wrongs. Yes. So, your coming to me will not end here. I will write to the president to indicate the things that you have complained about. Thank you. Yeah. Let, me, let me say this, that as you were coming, I heard you singing one song yes. where you are saying, Rupu Bawesu, Mwadituwebelo kweba tukwela pa ngombe, kweba pa wato tuwa kweba pa wato. The symbol of the UPND, te ngombe, uvoko. Now, when you sing like that, people would think that you are devaluing the people of southern province who believe in rallying the animals. 
When we are talking about politics, let's not bring in the issue of tribe. Thank you for the correction. We should never bring in the issue of tribe. Because in this country, we need each other. We need the people of Southern Province. We need the people of Western Province. Yes. We need the people of Northwestern Province. Yes. We need the people of Central Province. Copper Belt, Northern, Luapula, we are all Zambians. Yes. And our prime concern must be to unite all the regions through our motto of One Zambia, One, one nation. nation. So I beg with you, please don't bring in the issue of Ingombe because that is synonymous with the people of Southern Province and they may feel insulted. When there is a problem, when there is a problem, let's face the problem and not bring in the issue of tribalism. During the last elections, when I spoke about regional voting, tribal voting, people started calling me a tribalist. I have never been a tribalist, and I'll never be a tribalist. For your own information, four of my brothers and sisters are married to Tongas. My young brother Chisanga is married to Tonga. My young sister Sampa, who is the last born, is married to a Tonga. My young sister Lombe is married to a Tonga. My elder brother, Pastor Kambu, his first wife was Lozi. So we believe in diversity of tribes. Yes. So to, to label me as a tribalist is unfortunate. Okay. And that's why I've spoken about this issue of Ingombe, because I don't want to encourage demeaning any tribe in this country, because in diversity we can succeed. Yeah. So as you go out, please, that song, if you want to sing about the UPND, talk about Kwanja. Mm. Huh? Right. They are symbol. Don't talk about Ngombe. the Ngombe because the Ngombe is not P is not UPND and it's not a symbol of okay. UPND. No. But like I said, I am going to take this issue of your suffering to the president and ask him to do the correct thing. Indeed, even me have observed that people are suffering. They are not going to stop exporting electricity when the people of Zambia are suffering. Very sad. Listen to the suffering of the people. Listen to the complaints of the people and do the right thing. I know that load shed shedding can be minimized if we stop exports. But our friends have said they will continue with exports while we are suffering. Let me thank you for voicing out. And please, as you go back to your respective uh, uh, houses or respective homes, just know that this will not end here. I will do a letter to the president and I will give a copy to your leader. Thank, thank you very much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. First and foremost, let me say that uh, it is very difficult to comment about the removal of Anton Wadia from uh, status. Suffice to state that he has been demoted. In fact, he has been demoted very badly. Presidential aides, pres advisor to the president on economic affairs, advisor to the president on political, uh, the, the presidential aide, are above the permanent secretary in grading. Their grade is between 
the secretary, the deputy secretary to the cabinet and the permanent secretary. So they are above the permanent secretary. Now, if uh, you are removed from being above a permanent secretary and redeployed into foreign service, where the highest position there is the head of mission, who is either a high commissioner or uh, an ambassador. Their position in the ministry is director, and the deputy ambassador is assistant director. Now, Anton was a civil servant from above the permanent secretary to be demoted to a director in the ministry. That is very, very unfortunate. If it were me, I could have rejected that position. And there are people who have done that in the past. You remember very well that when President Chiluba died, Mr. Chitalusampa, the late May so rest in peace, was Minister of Defense. When Mwanawasa came in after Mwanawasa won election and took over from Chiluba, he demoted Mr. Chitalusampa from Minister of Defense to Deputy Minister of Defense. Mr. Chitalusampa declined to take up that position. That is what we call integrity. But in this country, people have lost integrity. Now, to comment the, on the circumstances that led to that demotion, it will be very difficult because I am not privy to the reasons why he has been demoted, except to say he has been demoted. And you saw it coming? Well, somehow, somehow, I did tell Anton Wadia one day when he was bragging that uh, he was uh, at State House and working well with everybody, I told him, you are not part of the team. And sooner or later, you'll be removed because of the experience that I had when I went to the UPND uh, Alliance. So I knew that it was very difficult for him to fit in that uh, equation. But uh, like I've said, we don't know why he has been, unless the president gives us the reason why he has been removed. We may start speculating until and, uh, 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 maybe the man committed the, uh, an offense that made the president to, to remove him. I just hope it is not what people are thinking or what I'm thinking. I just hope. Because in this country, we need each other, we need all tribes. If it is, the reason is that what people are speculating, I've seen on social media, people speculating, it is his tribe. If it is that, we need to avoid that because we need all the tribes in this country and we need to work together as 73 tribes of Zambia. So I hope and trust that it has nothing to do with tribe. If it has something to do with tribe, please, let's stop it. Bembas, Tongas, Kaondes, Namwangas, Nsengas, uh, uh, Kundas, uh, whatever tribe, we all need each other. And in life, you don't choose to be born Bemba. You don't choose to be born Lamba. We just find ourselves being born in those tribes. So it is very difficult for me to comment on the issue of uh, uh, Bwadia, only to wish him well in his future endeavors. Okay, just the last one. Uh, many people have had, there's a mixed feeling concerning presidential treaty, especially that this same man highly talked about this when his predecessor was in power. So yesterday, if Bwadia you visit my Facebook page, was it yesterday or the day before yesterday? Day before yesterday. I advised President Akainde Ichilema to avoid these foreign trips. It is now becoming embarrassing and unnecessary. I quoted a tweet where it <laughs> said the president must cut off, not cut down. There is a difference between cut off and cut down. When you say cut down on foreign trips, you are saying reduce them. When you say cut off, it means no more. That's what President Dagainde said. Don't move anymore because the economy is under distress. But the economy is still under distress. And one other reason he gave 
was that the price of fuel was too high. We need to save money. The price of fuel is now much higher than it was in 2019 when he was condemning President uh, 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 Lungu for undertaking foreign trips. And I have said, if we continue on this trajectory, people will lose trust in politicians. The result will be that there will be apathy during elections. I want to re-emphasize that President Againde Ichilema must avoid unnecessary foreign trips. It is, governance is not about the president or the presidency. That's why he has ministers, he has ambassadors, he has high commissioners. Some of these meetings can be attended by those people who are already in those countries where we don't, we, uh, where we, 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 the meetings are held so that we don't spend taxpayers' money. The president has undertaken 30 trips together with what he has, the, the, the one he has gone to is now 31 trip in one month, in one year, seven months. It's unacceptable, Zambians. It's unacceptable. Speak against this thing. And for our colleagues in the UPND, you know why we lost elections in the PF? We were defending everything. Even if something was wrong, you'd find somebody from PF saying, no, it's just okay. And until the people of Zambia said, oh, so it's okay. Let it be okay in the ballot. You are also going in the same trajectory, praise singers. Tell the president the truth. This is wrong, this is right. As for me, President Aga Inde Ichilema, please, Kale Nikomu State House, Bombele Nikwa Vantu, Uku Kavala, Uku Kavala, Mwalishwok Kavala, Ukwenda Enda is not good. Thank you. Okay, one last, last. Um, the U.S. Treasury Yellow was in Zambia, and she did indicate that um, Chinese, the Chinese government is getting a lot of minerals without investing back in the country. That statement has been received with a lot of mixed feelings. You've been in the government, the previous one, you've worked with the Chinese. Is it true that the Chinese have not invested? I don't know to what extent she meant, but do you believe they haven't well, invested much? Well, whatever she meant, let me say that we should not particularly single out China as those who are getting minerals without investing properly in the country. Because Zambia has not benefited much from the mineral resources. But it's not. China has only come in now. Most of the mines were run by the Europeans or the Western world. So for her to say that against China, that is why yesterday I was advising the president to be very careful the way is engaging the Americans. We all know that there is a trade and uh, uh, there's a trade war between China and America. And let not the American use us to fight the Chinese. That statement coming from the, uh, uh, the, the Americans is very unfortunate and unfair to China. We all need to have a benefit from the copper industry in Zambia, but singling out one particular country is not fair. All of them, without exception, have been very selfish in terms of investment in Zambia. They come to invest in the copper industry, but they don't want to invest in the manufacturing industry. Do you know why? They want to treat us like a dumping ground for their produce. So it's unfair that she singled out China. She must say, all of us, have come to Africa to get minerals without investing and taking care of the welfare of the Africans. So please, China, uh, I mean, uh, America, we are not going to help you to fight China. We are a non-aligned country. We keep friendship with all of you, and nobody should use Zambia to fight another big power. We are not going to accept that. Thank you for your time. Thank you very much.